Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today I am going to do a sleep time story. The story is written by me and narrated by me. In the story, the moral or the title of the story is The Power of Love and the characters are two female, one is Nadia, other one is Maya and male character is Jordan and Andrew and then Nadia's parents. So Nadia was fortunate enough to be born in a very wealthy family. Nadia's father was a car salesperson and he had his own car dealership and the family was very well settled and they were very ambitious so they were very fortunate enough to have lots of money highly ambitious family but one thing was lacking the family was love there was no love actually in that family everybody kind of ran around in their own ways just to make money and careers so Nadia's parents were all the time very very busy and they never had any actual time for family time or getting together or just doing something together that was never a question everybody just ran their own ways so Radia kind of grew up that way. So her nature was very rude and and she didn't have much friends either because of being so proud and rude nature. So when Nadia since Nadia's mom was never there to take care of her, so Nadia had a nanny named Maya. And Maya basically took care of Nadia till she was 18 and still Maya was there for Nadia's need and by the time Nadia was in high school she was going to go to her prom but she didn't have anybody to go to the prom because of being her very rude nature she didn't have much friends so Nadia was really sad that she wanted to go to the prom but didn't have anybody to go to so Nadia's babysitter Maya, Maya had a son named Andrew, Andrew was extremely good boy and he was doing well in school and he was very obedient to his mom. So Maya kind of asked Andrew to take Nadia to the dance and Andrew did so. Since Andrew being such a nice gentleman, everybody actually in the school loved him. And Andrew was very good at dancing and singing as well. So in the ballroom he became very popular for dancing and singing. And kind of really enjoying the prom night. And Nadia was always craving for something special and just craving for really just standing out between a crowd and it was that Andrew who stood up in a crowd because Andrew had some special skill but all Nadia had was just vanity, vanity without any skill or anything. So that night was special, very special for Andrew and Andrew actually, like Nadia, throughout this growing up period and he always wished that Nadia would be kind of nice to everyone and be kind and he prayed for it. He prayed that Nadia's nature would change. So after this prom night, next day everybody went their own way. Soon they graduated and they went to their own ways in college. But Andrew, in the meantime, during the evening, he worked for Nadia's dad. 
driving around his car and helping him out so he was basically working every evening with Nadia's dad in his car dealership also he took Nadia to places he drove there two of their cars one car belonged to Nadia's dad another one to Nadia and Andrew was the driver for those two cars it was a good evening job for Andrew because he could earn some money and help out his mom as Andrew was such a nice boy. During the college life Nadia met Jordan. Jordan was kind of just like Nadia. He was also very power proud and very mm, mean spirited and he didn't get along with people. He was actually a little bit more than Nadia was, so from 1 to 10 scale, Nadia was 6, then Jordan would be 10. But Andrew was really awesome. So as they were in the college life and finishing the college, and then Nadia's dad and Jordan's dad got together and they decided to marry off Nadia and Jordan so that way the family wealth will stay in the family as Nadia and Jordan's dad they both worked in the same car dealership and they became partners but uh, Jordan was really not very good guy he was sort of like very mean spirited proud arrogant even Nadia from time to time couldn't stand him. So as the day passed by, Andrew, after graduation, he got a nice job and then also in the evening he was working for Nadia's dad's car dealership. And Nadia really wasn't doing so good throughout these years. She has gotten sick a lot and Jordan was never there to take care of her so she pretty much had to take care of herself even though she had plenty of maids and servants people to take care of but when it came to actually being there for her nobody was there except Andrew so Andrew was coming by every evening to do his job at the same time he would come and pick up Nadia and take her to the movies or to the theaters or to for shopping or to the park while doing this gradually and then noticed that Nadia had gotten sick a lot and her health was really deteriorating to the point when Jordan saw that Nadia was really really sick he even stopped coming home he would just stay out party and drink that's the kind of person Jordan was and this actually bothered Nadia even more so slowly she was very very sick and the doctor said that there was not much hope for her and it was just her sickness was mainly her unhappiness with the life and Andrew started praying a lot for this so that Nadia would get better but it was the Nadia who had to do something different to get her health in order so as one day Nadia couldn't even get up from bed to go to the park or to go to the garden for, for a stroll or just go to the store she just didn't have the energy anymore to go and Andrew will come and he will take care of her and he will just take her everywhere and even he would just bring food for her and watching this Nadia was very pleased to see that how Andrew was really taking care of her so she asked him a question that Andrew why didn't you get married over these years the answer was there in front of Andrew and he said he didn't feel the need to get married over these years because when he went to the prom 
with Nadia that's the day he felt like he was married to Nadia and this was the answer and Nadia was the one for him and to this Nadia was really shocked that all these years how she treated him but he still kept his hope and still kept loving Nadia which was really shocking to Nadia and gradually as Andrew was taking care of Nadia every day she began to fall in love with Andrew to see how he was so nice and kind to her and this was the first time Nadia really realized what true love is as she began to fall in love with Andrew, as she began to really feel good, slowly her disease sort of vanished and it went away. And within a year of Andrew coming regularly and they going to the park, to the library, to the garden, to sit or to the store or to see a movie, and actually they both fell in love with each other. And Nadia got better and after she got better she immediately divorced Jordan and then Andrew and Nadia were truly in love and soon enough they both got married and Andrew received what he asked for to the universe many 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 times over this long stretch of time. And Nadia also realized that what true love is and how true love can save a person from death or dying or sickness. So the moral to the story is the power of love. And it could go other way too as um, the power of not being loved. So the reason Nadia was sick is because Nadia was in an environment where there was no love existing. Even her marriage to Jordan was a loveless marriage, loveless life. But Andrew was in her life and the day she had the realization how much Andrew loves her, then she started loving back to him and that's what made the life again worth livable. So the love is the basis of all the living things in this world. And we must love because that's what is really needed to live. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video. And I'll see you with many, many more. Good night, sweet dreams. Love you all. Bye-bye. Hi, thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.